when you look at the outside of experience, what you did is you provided some really practical ideas. And I know that it's from a kind of holistic perspective of your time as an educator and the time that you're work doing now. So what are some of the things that maybe you, if you were in the classroom and maybe an example that you share in your book would do for, because of the stuff that you learn outside of education, because I think some kids, this is experience is sometimes kids, we're so basically in school that kids are really good at school when they walk out, but they're not necessarily having real world. I don't even say, I don't even have to say the term real world, just real, like real learning that happening. So like when you worked outside of education, what are some of the experiences that you had that maybe would have reshaped some of the things that you would have done in school if you were to go back? That's a great question. And play off a little bit about your real world. We always hear that in the context of school night and, and people always want to have experiences that are more real world. And my response to that is that there's no more real world than school. So I think my experience beyond education has taught me that I think I'm always impacted and the, and the book makes a case for this is that the world of school is somewhat isolated and siloed in the sense that school needs to be. And what I've learned is that school needs to be much more experiential and expose kids to a greater range of experiences where they have to have to develop certain different qualities. I talk in the book about lifelong, life wide and life deep learning and lifelong learning is a trajectory. It's over the lifetime. It's a linear distance. When we talk about life wide learning, we're talking about along that timeline, a greater range of experiences that teach kids and expose them to different conditions. A lot of the, and when you do that, you have a chance to develop what's called life deep learning experience opportunities. And that's where kids learn the things that relate to being human, the qualities of, for, of being human, for example, empathy, persistence, resilience, being collaborative, and all those things that we want kids to be. There's an opportunity to, the biggest thing for me is my, and certainly in my work as an entrepreneur, people always ask me, are you going to hire somebody? I said, no, I don't need to do that. Because what I do is I assemble a team on demand. That's the way that works. You don't literally have employees, but you have people in your network that you rely on. You bring them onto projects. The world of the classroom, and I still see it, George, and, I, and, it's, and it, it's, it still shapes my thinking in a lot of ways. I still, when I walk into schools, I still see the rows of steel frame desks with the teacher at the front with, nobody learns like that anymore, except in schools. And there's the greater range of experiences that provide kids with opportunities to grow in different directions and develop the qualities that, that are meaningful for them as people and as citizens and as people that will support democracy and things like that. These are all essential things to schools. And we go, you take kids on the field trips and that word really bothers me in a lot of ways in the sense that you go get in a bus, you scurry back, you go out to some a museum or someplace and you scurry back to the safety. The drawbridge goes up and you go into the, the school again. The world works in, in this way and it's all connective. It's all integrated together. There's massive opportunity for kids to explore different directions. I think sometimes we get in schools, we get limited by the potential outcomes of what kids can look at. And we look at going to college and we're going to four year, two year, going to the military, going to work. I'd love to see schools focus on things like entrepreneurship and mm -hmm. developing additional ways in which kids can grow and develop. I think going back to your question, it's what I've learned outside is that there's this need for this greater connective, more deep and engaging human kind of experience that school can provide.